hi everyone so as we are learning how to build a power as application so the best way it's to start with live project so uh, i will be covering this q a application uh, in my playlist so we are going to build different different application in future so first of all i will tell you what will be the scenario for this application so it's very simple application nothing complex so it's a q a application so where the user can ask question then email goes to a department members and whoever are in department members can respond to the question user will get notified on email when any department member respond to their question and in the computer application user can ask question search for the questions they can respond to question and they can also filter using different different options available so using this we can we are going to cover search filter all these things we are going to handle delegation we are going to learn how to work with galleries how to work with container and the computer application is going to be responsive so we are also going to learn how to build a responsive application inside power apps so this is a simple flow application so for this application we are going to utilize the sharepoint list as our database for this we are going to use two different sharepoint list one will be our master list where we will store q a and the second one is our department members so where we will store department list and the respected members so in case if in future there will be more department and members so they can make changes in this list so here as you can see we have q a list and these are the columns that we are going to create in that list so in q a list we will have question that will be a single line of text then we will have a response that will be multi line text we have a status column which has the choices like response pending and answer and one will be the department lookup lookup column is that because we are maintaining a separate department list for members so here is our second list department member list in that we will have a department which is a choice column which will be a single select choice column and we are going to use a person which will be a multi select field so that admin user can set the respective department members for each department so as you can see this similar ui we are going to build inside our power apps application as you can see here uh, we will have a header in that we will have q a application logo you can put whatever you want we will have one creating your profile picture here we will give the option to search then we will have the filters like this all answered and response pending we are going to filter the questions by department also user will have ability to ask a question so when they click on ask question a form will open where they can ask the question by selecting department then we are going to display question in the form of this card view so as you can see there are lines like yellow and green that means key yellow that means all these questions are submitted for response and those are in green that means the response already have been submitted to that question we can show view the answer so if i click on answer then it is going to filter out the gallery to show only answered question same for the response pending so if i click on response pending it is going to show all pending response questions by default it will be in all so if i click on submit response a pop up will have open that will have the question title and here user can put the response and they they'll click on submit then the submit and if i click on show answer if the response is already added to that question the answer will look like this so it is a single uh, screen application mostly and it's a simple flow we are going to use power automate also for sending emails so using this you can also know that how power, power automate and power app integration works so first of all what we are going to do we are going to create one site in the sharepoint and we will set up our all the backend so for this uh, we will create one sharepoint site and in that we will have qna list and department member list so i'll go to sharepoint here 
I will create one site here. I will choose a blank site and I will name it as Power Apps Training. As you can see the site has been created now we are going to set up a list so the first list we want is q and a list so in this list we are going to use the default uh, title column as a question I will rename it as a question then I am going to add another column which is a multi line of text which will be your response I am going to save it then uh, we will have a choice column that is name as status so the choices are response pending and answered default value I will put as response pending we can also manage this value using power app so but I will prefer to have a default value here also and I will click on save then we are going to use the out of the box column also like created created by modified by and modified and we are going to have a different column which is department but before that we are going to create another list so that we can look up to this list I am going to create another list which name as department member list so in this we also have a title column I will just rename it as department name and then we will use the person column which will called as department members which is a multi line sorry it's a multiple selection So what I'll do, I'll just add two three department. So let's say I'll put here information technology. Then we will have accounting department and let's say finance and security and for the department members I will put myself in the IT then another user in accounting for finance I will select this user and for security I will select this one so this is my development tenant so there are only five to six users but if you have more users in your development environment so you can add it I'll just exit this. I will go to my QA list. Now, what I will do, I will create one more column which will be your lookup column. I will name it as department name. Type is lookup, and from where we are going to get the information, this department member list, and we are going to display a department title. So, we'll use the title column. So it's an internal name and in the list as you can see we have renamed it as a department name. So if I click on new you can see we have question, we have response, we have the status which is default value response pending and we will have department name here. So now that we have set up our backend 
what we are going to do we are going to power apps and we will connect the data sources first i'll go to power apps i will create new application from start click on create q and a app i will choose the format as a tablet because we are going to use a responsive application so to build a responsive app first thing you need to do you have to go to settings you go to display and here uh, you just need to turn it off so i'll show you what difference does it make so if i click on play as you can see uh, it is appearing in this container and what if i turn it off and if i play it now so as you can see it is taking complete width right so in order to be responsive app the first thing you need to do is go to settings go to display and just turn it off i'll prefer lock orientation to off and i'll just save this application right. the application is saved now the second thing is we have set up our database in the sharepoint now we need to connect that data sources in power app so what i will do here you need to go to data go to add data search for sharepoint because we are going to use sharepoint here so if you are creating power apps for the very first time you will see that uh, there will be two options on premise and online so you just need to select the cloud or online so the site we have just created is not appearing here so what i will do i'll just copy the url of the site it will take some time for recently created site i will just connect and as you can see we have the two list q and a list and department member list that we are going to use and i will simply click on connect so we have set up our q and a list when i click on edit data it will open that list and if i click on department member edit data then it will going to open that list so as of now we have created our database and we have connected to data source so in upcoming video we are going to build the application from start if you have any doubt like how we are going to create the sites if you are new to sharepoint or office 365 platform you can let me know we can see how the site is going to create it if you have any question feel free to ask in comments thank you